Casey just stepped off the cover of Chatelaine. Uncle Willis, you didn't tell me you'd started boarding stray dogs. Nah, uh, we're just being good Samaritans. But this one eats too fast. <laughs> oh, give me a break already, will you? It's been a long day. Yeah, Uncle Willis tells me you're going to do some real work this summer. Yeah, I've been planting trees. From sunrise to chow time, bent over a 60 degree slope. Oh, that's actually a more twist than a pretzel. Yeah, I think I saw some of your handiwork on the drive in. Looks like you need a little practice, cousin. What do you mean? Well, I couldn't help but notice the mile after mile of trees that have just been thrashed by the forest company. <laughs> Don't look at me. I thought you were the chief forester over here. I know you both work for Macmillan Bodell. I don't want to come off sounding like some irate environmentalist, but I just don't understand how you logging guys can leave moonscapes like that. I mean, the call this province beautiful, and then you do something like that to it. Spare me, will ya? I just spent the last two weeks breaking my back on what you call a moonscape. Listen, in a few years, that's going to be a number one prime second growth forest. Yeah, well. Forgive my skepticism, but logging surely is an ugly mess. Steve, you know what I'd like to do? You're off the next couple of days, and I'm on vacation. Let's give Karen a look at forest management. How does that sound, Karen? Sounds good. Can I ask all the questions I want? By all means. We've got nothing to hide. I'm gonna go talk to Sid up in the yard. Yeah, we'll see you later. Yeah. How's it going, Jim? Just great, Willis. How's yourself? Fine, thank you. Jim, I'd like you to meet my niece, Karen. She's visiting here from Toronto. Hi, Hi. Karen. Welcome to our logging operation. Thanks. Jim is our yarding foreman here at this operation. The yarding foreman? Jim and his crew bring those felled logs from up there down here and make sure they get onto the mill. Well, those logs sure are big. Way bigger than the ones we had back in the east. How old would those be? Well, Karen, this is an old-growth forest, and most of the trees on this particular site would average 500 years old. Oh, 500 years? That's pretty old. Couldn't you just cut down some of the trees and leave the rest? I mean, do you have to cut down everything? Well, it wouldn't be safe, Karen. Our loggers would have to work around those trees. And with these slopes and this heavy equipment here, you'd be just looking for an accident to happen. Professional foresters agree that in most cases, clear-cut harvesting makes it easier for forest regeneration. Well, I've got to be off, Willis. I've things to do. Thanks, Jim. Nice to see you again. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks. Karen, very nice meeting you. Enjoy the rest of your tour. Bye-bye. Bye now. What's that big, black, ugly patch over there? That's called a slash burn. It's one of the ways we get rid of this debris. Oh, this is a great operation, huh? Looks more like an atomic test site. Oh, well, sure, it's kind of an eyesore now, but in five or seven years, that's going to be a lush green forest. <sighs> Give me a break. No, seriously. Look, I'll take you out to the planning site where I've been working, okay? It used to look just like that. Moonscapes like that sure don't leave a very good impression for visitors like me. Well, once sandy seedlings take hold over there, it'll look like a national park. What's a sandy seedling? Well, Sandy's the guy who grows trees for McMillan Bloedel. He starts them off in these really high-tech new greenhouses. I mean, uh, he works for Lupat. Lupat? He's a Lupat. Some kind of lunar patrol? <laughs> <laughs> Lupat stands for Land Use Planning Advisory Team. They're a group of our technical experts. Steve hopes to get a job with Lupat when he's through university. And one of their main projects is breeding trees to produce faster-growing forests. They also use computers to help design them for us. 
it's really a fascinating field. We can't change this instantly, Karen, but we will change it. I think once you learn more about forest management, 